Hey guys, what's going down? I'm going to show you how to play Thief by Our Lady Peace from the record Happiness is Not a Fish That You Can Catch. This is such a great record. It came out in 1999 and it was my first Our Lady Peace record I ever owned. I just think it's such a super awesome album. Very creative, amazing songwriting and just sonically it sounds amazing. So if you haven't heard it, do check it out. Definitely a great record from the late 90s from this Canadian band. And I love this album so much that I inspired my brother to paint a painting of the front cover of this uh, record. So here is a photograph of the painting that he did. Isn't that amazing? So shout out to my brother Nick. This painting was so awesome that it, uh, it was uh, sold, should I say, <laughs> to one of his school teachers or given to him for free. I'm not sure. You'll have to ask my brother, but uh, jeepers, man. I wish I owned the original, hey? Okay. Alright, let's have some fun, guys. Now, Thief is a really great song to play on acoustic guitar. It's not too difficult, but we do have to tune the guitar down a semitone or a half step. Alright, so the tuning is going to be like this E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. B flat and E flat. So you have to pop your tuner on your guitar and just tune everything down a half step. The tuner might actually say sharps, in which case it would be D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. Now that sounds quite confusing, but it's really simple. Once you get used to tuning guitars down a half step, uh, you'll get into it. So, all right. And this is how the verse one goes. I don't want to understand this horror. There's a way. Okay, so verse 1 is pretty straightforward. The first chord is a D major. The second chord is an A major. The third chord is an E minor. And the last chord is a G major. You can play regular G major with the third finger on the high E string on the third fret, or you can move the third finger across the string and place the fourth finger there. It doesn't matter too much. So, let me play through that slowly for you guys. I don't want to understand this horror. There's a weight in your eyes. I can't admit everybody hands up. Okay, so the strumming is just down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay. Then we go into the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. As the world explodes, we fall out of air. And we can't let go because this will not go away. There's a house built out in space. So the pre chorus is a little bit more difficult than the verse. I'll walk you through it. So the first chord is an F sharp minor. Okay, which is actually a bar chord, so we're going to bar over the second fret, all right, with our first finger, and then we're going to place our third finger on the fourth fret of the A string, 
and our fourth finger right next door on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay, we get a beautiful F sharp minor. Now, if you're struggling with playing a full bar chord of F sharp minor, you can always play a power chord of F sharp. It's a little bit easier where we only place our fingers on the first three strings, okay, or should I say the bottom three strings, okay. So that's up to you. You can either play the full bar chord or you can play the power chord, all right. And then the next chord is a G. You can hear it's moving up. So I like to play the, the G bar chord, the full G bar chord, all right, which looks like that, barring over the third fret with our first finger, second finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and then third finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and then the fourth finger right next door on the fifth fret of the D. So that's your, your full G bar chord, but you can also do a G power chord, which we call G5. Okay. So this is how it would sound with full bar chords. And if you can do that with the full bar chords, I would recommend that it sounds nice. But it also sounds okay with the power chords if you want to simplify it a bit. And the strumming there, you can see I'm mixing it up a little bit with the downs and the ups. You can also just go down, down, down if you want to keep it simple like. As the world explodes, we fall out of it. And we can't let go because this. Alright, so I had to show you a couple of different ways of playing that depending on what level you're at. But you know, choose choose something that works for you. Okay, then the fun part, we're going to jump to a B minor bar chord. Okay. B minor, we're going to bar our first finger over the, the second fret. Alright. And then we're going to put our second finger on the third fret of the B string. Our third finger on the fourth fret on the D string. And our fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Uh, so you can either play B minor like that where you, the first finger stretches only as far as the A string That's sort of your technically correct way of playing B minor But you can also extend the first finger onto the low E string if you want to play all the strings So either or, whichever works for you But it's going to go like this Will not go away <coughs> Excuse me Alright, so from the B minor, we're going to go to an A major chord, which is pretty easy. You guys all know how to play A major. And then to an E major, also pretty easy. You guys know how to play that. So watch again slowly. Will not go away. And in terms of the strumming there, there's a lot of different variations. I like to do this sometimes. Will not go away. To make it a little bit complicated in there but figure out what works for you guys it's just a nice little quick movement on those three chords okay then it goes to a G major there's a house built up. A major okay and then it jumps back to G major very quickly okay check this out so I'll show you again there's a house built out in space. Alright, so after the G major, back to the D major. Check it out. One, two, three, D. There's a house built out in space. So, 
the pre-chorus is one of the, the more difficult parts of the song, so I think I'm just going to run through it slowly from beginning to end. Okay. As the world explodes, we fall out of it. And we can let go because this will not go away. There's a house built out in space. Cool beans. All right, next up we have the chorus. And it goes like this. I can see the deep that lives inside of your head. I can be some courage on the side of your bed. I don't know what's happening, but I can't pretend that I can be. Okay, so the chorus is pretty straightforward. We start with an E minor. Okay. Very easy chord, as you can see. And then a C major. And then a D major. And then a G. So it goes. I can see the deep values inside of And then the next time, it swaps the two chords around. So it goes E minor, C, G, D. But I can be some courage at the side of your bed. And if you really want to be cool at this point, you can go like this. Okay, because that's I've seen the guitarist and other Navy piece do that sometimes. So he goes. But that's for your more for you more advanced guys out there. <laughs> okay. Then third time it goes E minor, C, D, G. I don't know what's happening. I can't pretend. Then E minor C. And you just stay on the C. I can be your be your Alright, very easy, but I will do it slowly for you guys that need help with the chorus. I can see the thief that lives inside of your head. But I can be some courage inside of your bed. I don't know what's happening, and I can pretend. Can be a little bit fast in the last line like this. I can be your, be your. Kind of, he kind of jumps to the C a little quickly there. Okay, all right. So that's most of the song. There is a bridge part which I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes. But let me walk through the rest of the song. So the next part of the song is the verse two, which we know how to play, and it goes like this. <coughs> Right, that's verse 2, and then we go on to pre-chorus 1, which we know how to play. Sorry, pre-chorus 2, pre-chorus 2, alright. As the world implodes, we fall into it. There's a house 
built out in space. Alright, then it's time for chorus two, which we already know how to play, and it goes like this. I can see that deep that lives inside of your head. But I can be some courage out inside of your bed. I don't know what's happening, and I can't pretend. But at the end of chorus two, at this point now, we're going to jump into the bridge. So it's actually a little bit different to chorus one because we, we're not doing that last line that we did in chorus one. Okay, where we went, I can be you. We're not doing that. Okay, we're jumping straight into the bridge, which goes like this It's a long, long getaway. It's a long, long getaway. Make it home again. pretty easy there's just two chords in the bridge the first one is an A suspended 2 which is very similar to A major A major normally looks like that okay but we take away the third finger and we have A suspended 2 which you can either play with finger 1 and 2 or finger 2 and 3 it doesn't really matter it's a very beautiful chord and the second chord is a C major 7 which also only uses two fingers and it's similar to C major, but without the first finger. Okay. Two very simple but beautiful chords put together gives us the sound of the bridge in this song. Okay. So I'll play it for you slowly now. <clears throat> so we start on the A suspended two. It's a long, long getaway. Then we move to the C major seven. It's a long, long getaway. To G make it. D. Make it home again. Back to A suspended 2. It's a long, long getaway. C major 7. It's a long, long getaway. And we hang on that for a bit. And then we jump to chorus 3, which is the last part of the song. Okay, so I'll play through that for you. I can see that deep valley. Inside of your head, but I can't be some courage inside of your bed. I don't know what's happening, but I can't pretend that I can be you, be you. I'm here, that I can be you, be you. So as you'll notice in the chorus 3, it's slightly different to chorus 1 and 2 because of the last few lines. And then we end on the A suspended 2 chord which we used in the bridge. So just very quickly, the last few lines go like this slowly. But I can be song Thief by Our Lady Peace. It's been so cold here in Cape Town lately. We're going into winter so the mornings are cold and it's taken me a while for my, to, to warm my voice up so it's a bit frustrating. I wish I could sing better. <laughs> I guess I'll have to start shooting these videos later in the afternoon when I've warmed my voice up. But hey, can't be summer all year round can it? We've just uh, we've had a great summer here in Cape Town so all right, guys, see you soon, and uh, hope you have a great day. And especially for those of you guys that are having summer right now, hope you guys are having an awesome time. Uh, okay, cheers, man.